Hey everybody, it's Wes. Merry Christmas. It's about 11 o'clock here on the East Coast, Christmas Eve. I just wanted to send out a Merry Christmas to everyone with well wishes and hope everyone stays safe and is, uh, enjoys the holiday. And I'm enjoying uh, the Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. Celebrating. <clears throat> but this isn't a beer review, this is just an update and a look forward. So uh, I want to thank all of my new subscribers, I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately and it's, it's really nice and I want to thank all of my old subscribers who have been with me a long time. <clears throat> Thanks for continuing to stick with me and comment on my videos. I get you know, my comments sent to my phone, so it's really nice during the day, no matter where I am, I get comments, and it's uh, really nice to hear feedback from everyone, so I really appreciate that, those of you that do leave comments. And I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing, and I know my channel is quite random, and uh, that's, that's basically how I want it. I use it kind of as a show and tell something I'm interested in or something something I think is interesting I'm gonna share it and that's that's basically what this channel is about um, I don't want to go create a bunch of different channels for different types of videos it's just not what I want to do so here's the randomness so uh, earlier this month I had a chance to be part of a collab video that the 2009 can will want won't video for the YouTube weight loss community and that was really great to be part of that uh, Jason did a really good t-boss bone he did a really good job of uh, putting that together and editing everything and it's a very inspirational video no matter whether you are want to be inspired for weight loss or anything anything any kind of inspiration you want it's it's a just great to see a bunch of people uh, you know, fired up and sure of themselves and stating what they can, will, want, and won't do. And it's a fun to watch, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you a link to that in the notes, just in case you haven't seen it already. Or if you want to see it again. And uh, speaking of that, if you did see it, you will notice that in there I said, in 2010, I will be running a half marathon. And... It turns out that that's going to be happening sooner rather than later, as I found out through a friend that there's going to be a marathon and half marathon here in my hometown on Valentine's Day, February 14th. So I went ahead and decided why not have, at the time I had a little little more than two months before February 14th, and I, I thought I was, you know, I'm in decent shape now, and I think I can train enough to complete the full half marathon and run a pretty good race so uh, what I did is I went online and I created a little training log calendar kind of thing with, uh, December January and February and I got the February 14th with a heart on it that's the race day and I basically have my training schedule all laid out here I keep it posted on my front door so I see it several times a day and anyone that comes by my house sees it so it uh, helps keep me accountable to make sure I actually do all these training dates I have scheduled. I do a five day a week training schedule where I run three days a week. That's Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And I work out with weights on Wednesdays and Fridays. So that leaves me Saturdays and Mondays as free days. Um, if I need to make up a, a training that I miss during the week, I can use one of those days for that. Or it's just a, a free day, you know. Just, relax, recover, um, don't need to be working out every single day, it's not necessary, your body needs time to recover, so it's a pretty tough schedule I have set here, I got a, I got an 8 mile run coming up this, this uh, sun, Sunday, so, and uh, pretty soon it's going to be all 8 mile runs every day, or, you know, the 3 days I run. And eventually it's going to be moving up to some 12 mile runs right before the race so I can be sure and be prepared to be uh, be at that about that distance so I can make sure to
complete the half marathon. So that's a big thing. So speaking of this half marathon, I've been wanting to do a, a series of videos on running for a while now, and I haven't been sure how to go about it, but now that I have this half marathon planned over the next uh, basically month and a half, I'm going to be putting up so, uh, a couple of videos in a series uh, about running, about getting started running, because even though I'm talking about running a half marathon here in a, in you know a month and a half, a little over a month and a half, the fact is, around the middle of last year when I started running, I couldn't I couldn't run more than two tenths of a mile without just totally fainting on the ground and passing out. So it you know it may seem like a daunting task when I initially started running. It was just a, a daunting task just to make a mile. Then it was you know a 5k and then I got to that point and then it was a 10k and I trained for that and I got to that point and and now it's now I need something else to go for you know a 10k is is something I can do easily now so it's it's you know it's building and it builds faster than you expect it and running is a really great great thing for me both mentally and physically it was a big a big factor in my weight loss to be able to to burn off those calories running that I did and get my body moving, and get my uh, digestive system sort of shooken up, and it gets gets things working there, and it, it kind of helps a lot in that area. And it's uh, also mentally mentally good for you to run, uh, you know, get out there and, and uh, get out your aggressions and stress, and it gives you a peaceful time where you can just sort of think about things and. You know, one foot in front of the other and just sort of think and meditate on things and uh, whenever I feel stressful it's really a good thing for me mentally to go running so that's going to be coming in the next couple months is going to be some uh, some videos on running you know just, just getting started running just uh, the basics what you, you know what kind of equipment you need uh, you know, what kind of stretches you need to be doing to make sure you don't get injured and just how to start running so again, I want to say uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, thank you all for watching, thank you all for sticking with me, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting, uh, I really appreciate you all, it means a lot to me that people actually watch these uh, boring videos I make, I guess they're interesting to some of you and I, I appreciate that and I, I, I watch some people's videos that they probably think are boring also and I think they're quite, quite interesting so I'm glad I can give back to some of that. So, thank you for watching, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.